Do your kids have trouble telling the difference between odd and even numbers? My name is Steve Reifman, and I'm a National Board Certified Elementary School teacher and author in Santa Monica, California. Today, I'll be sharing with you a story in which the meaning of the terms odd and even is embedded within the plot of the story. Every year, I start my math instruction with a unit on place value, and odd and even numbers are one of the first things that I focus on with my kids. And I announce the name of the story, the day that Stephen got even. And immediately the kids think that it's going to be a story of revenge, and it actually has nothing to do with that. So there's a little fun already with the title of the story. The story starts one day at recess when Stephen walks over to the doubles handball court, and he says, hey guys, can I play? And they said, Stephen, we'd love to have you play, but we have four people here, and you're the fifth person. You need a partner. You're an odd number. You need to find a partner to play with. So Stephen tries again at lunch. He comes back to the court. He says, hey guys. This time he sees six people. He says, hey, can I play? And they said, Stephen, we'd love to have you join us. But again, we have an even number of people here already. Each of us has a partner. You're the seventh person. You would need a partner. So Stephen's discouraged, but he's undeterred. And at the next recess, he tries again. When on his way to the handball court, he sees a new student to the school walking by himself on the playground. He approaches the boy and says, hi, would you like to be my partner for doubles handball? And the new student is absolutely delighted that Stephen is including him and inviting him to play a game. So Stephen is very happy as he walks to the court with his new partner and friend. He says, hey guys, we'd like to play doubles handball. And they say, sure Stephen, we have eight people here, two more makes ten, that's an even number, you could play. Stephen is very excited as he and his partner get to play the next game. And then I make a big deal about the last line of the story. I say to my students, and that, boys and girls, is the day that Stephen literally got even. As I tell the story, I make tally marks on the board to correspond with the story that I'm telling. On the left side of the board, I make tally marks in groups of two to show all the even numbers as I count four players, six players, eight players, etc. Then on the right side, I show the odd numbers, making sure to emphasize the leftover. That is a part of all odd numbers. One other thing that I like about this story is that there's a very nice social emotional component to it. So in addition to learning the actual math skills, the kids are seeing some nice modeling. They see Stephen being very kind, he's approaching a new student, he's including him, inviting him to play a game, and there's just an overall happy feeling at the end when Stephen gets to play after being denied a couple times. For more teaching tips, blog posts, and other resources on teaching the whole child, please visit steveriefman.com. Thank you.